Sometimes you're able to get away with a stock gobble, but what do you do when you need a light design that's more specific, say a logo? Ha, a logo gobo. Well, we set out to make our own and the results are pretty great. Let me show you how we did it. We originally started thinking about this when we received our Aperture Spotlight mount. We go over the spot itself in another video, which you can find here or in the description below. The spotlight came with a few designs of its own, and we made good use of them in a few different commercials. This got me thinking, you know, we could probably make our own gobos. Designing the parts wasn't anything crazy. I measured the sled and the discs themselves, making note of what tolerances the parts had, and then making sure I knew what the safe zone of the discs were. After taking these measurements, I went into Adobe Illustrator, made a few artboards, and a basic template. I've actually got this logo that I want to get cut out, so I'm going to throw it into a design and get it cut. The only big problem is, well, we don't have a CNC machine. Thankfully, we know some rock stars that do. Let's go pay them a visit. We just arrived at Gizmonix. Evan and Johnny are waiting for us inside. Let's go say hello. Hi, Evan. Hey guys, welcome to Gizmonix. Thanks for having us. You bet. Come on in. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Evan and Jania Anderson are here behind us. They're already hard at work. They're taking the logo, uh, their own logo that is, and they're getting it prepped into a file to be ready on the CNC machine. Let's take a closer look. So Jania, what are you doing over there? Well, I actually have the, the logo file and I, I do the resizing of the logo here. I get things to scale and then I export them into a file. So the measurements that we were taking earlier, they're now inputting into their machine. That involves uh, tool selection and then selecting the geometry that I'm cutting, which side of that geometry the tool needs to cut on, etc. That's gonna look beautiful. It's impossible to make a square corner, square inside corner with a round tool. You always get a little bit of a radius. So I'm kind of working on uh, proper tool selection right now. Evan and Johnny like to work on a lot of secret projects. So what's on the monitor right now, we had to blur it out because you can't <laughs> legally see it. All right, so our files are all prepped. Behind me is the Laguna Swift CNC router. Evan's putting the files in, let's go take a look. Well, I think I've got the machine ready to go. All I have to do, I've told it where the material is, I've told it where the tool is. I just need to push go. Spin it up. We're going from an eighth inch down to a sixteenth inch to really fill in those corners and get the sharp details that you can't get with a rounder bit. This is where the problems have come in in the past with breaking a few of the bits, so hopefully, uh, fingers crossed that we don't do that today. We've got the finished gobo. It looks really clean. The edges came out really great. Yep. I'm excited to get it thrown into the Lico and see what it looks like. Can't wait. Thanks a ton, Evan. You bet. All right, let's take a look at this. It turned out great. We're gonna see it in action. A special thanks to Evan and Johnny for their help with making these wicked gobos. If you enjoyed learning more about our creative process with these gobos, please leave us a like, hit that big old subscribe button, and if you have any questions, I'd love to get a chance to respond to them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.